hello friends i welcome you to my youtube channel mac pm so in today's video we will discuss the type of failure of riveted joints in which cases the riveted joints may get may get failed okay and uh, other than that we will also discuss strength of a riveted joint and efficiency of a riveted joint so rivet joints mainly fail because of five causes first one is failure due to tearing of the plate failure due to tearing of the plate between rivets failure due to shearing of rivets failure due to crushing of rivet or plate so we will see everything one by one okay but if you are starting this video and watching for first time then i request you to please go to the play playlist of riveted joints and watch from video number one okay so let us start so first case is failure due to tearing of the plate between the rivet hole and the edge of the plate okay so suppose these are the two plates this is plate number one this is plate number two and suppose they uh, we are going to do lap joint because these two plates are overlapping then we are making a hole here okay for rivet to be fitted but this hole is very close to this edge of the plate so in this case this hole may get plate may get teared and this plate may break and this hole will get distorted okay so this is the tear in the plate so how to avoid this so to avoid this what you have to do you have to min uh, choose the minimum distance between this uh, plate and this edge of the plate and margin say so this is the edge of plate and this rivet diameter rivet center distance <coughs> distance between center of rivet and the edge of plate should be m then this m should be greater than or equal to 1.5 d okay so what is d here d is the diameter of the hole so this hole should be drilled at least 1.5 times away from the edge of the plate okay to avoid this tearing of the plate okay in second case what can happen suppose uh, second case is uh, failure due to tearing of the plate between rivets so suppose this is one plate and this is another plate we are doing a lap joint so this is one this is two this is three number of rivets so what can happen in this case that while drilling hole we have drilled three hole so this plate may get cracked because you see material is removed from here this will also get cracked and along the center of the hole this whole plate will get cracked so okay so why this happens because we have already drilled hole here 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 so in this case if we apply load p then you can see the material is removed from here here and here so in this case this portion is very weak so in this case this plate may get cracked along the line of holes okay in this case also it happens when load is applied okay so what is the strength of the plate in this case so suppose this plate plate may be very big so we cannot count all the rivets and we can calculate for all the rivets suppose this is p p is the piece of the rivet which is distance between two center of the conductive rivets so this is p which is piece of the rivet suppose p is pitch d is diameter of the rivet and t is thickness of the plate and uh, p is capital p is tensile log
this load this load is p okay and sigma t is shift and side stress in plate which plate can bear without developing crack and pt is shift and side load per page length because i i said already that in real case this plate may be very long and suppose there are hundred of rivets so it is difficult to calculate for the whole plate so we will see for per page length okay so what is the pt safe tensile load per page length is equal to what is load load is stress which is sigma t into area under which stress is applied okay so what is the uh, area pt is equal to sigma t this area is area between the pitch area per pitch length so what is the area per pitch length because we are calculating per pitch length so we will use area per pitch length so suppose uh, this is p then this is d by 2 from here to here it is d by 2 the half diameter of this rivet then uh, this is also d by 2 so it is p minus d by 2 minus d by 2 this is length of the plate and then to thickness of the plate which will become area of the uh, uh, area between the pitch area per pitch of the rivet joint okay so it will become sigma t into p minus d into t okay so this is shift and side stress per pitch length okay so we should not apply or this is pt so we should not apply more tensile load than pt per pitch length okay now third case is failure due to shearing or rivet so suppose this is one plate and this is another plate and we are using left joint then this is a rivet and suppose you are applying load p here and load p here then this this may get seared okay and final position of this will become like this it may get seared it may come here okay So rivet is seared from here at this joint. Okay. So what is the area under shear? Area under shear is pi by 4 into d square. This is area of this rivet which has seared. So what will be the shear load? Load PS to avoid shearing of this uh, rivet. Okay. So it will be one area into pi by 4 d square okay into shear stress maximum allowable shear stress for this plate material okay so suppose there are n rivets per pitch length this is for one pitch length suppose uh, there are n rivets then we can multiply it by n and there is another case suppose this is a butt joint okay and we are using a strap plate here then suppose this has seared
so you can see here that this rivage has seared from here okay so this is one area this is one area of shear this is also another area so this is called double shearing okay so in case of double shearing we have to multiply area by 2 so ps will become 2 into pi by 4 d square into tau into n okay n is the number of rivets per pitch length okay Similarly, last one is crossing of the failure of failure due to crossing. So, if this is one plate and this is another plate, and there is a rivet here, and suppose a load P is applied here, and another load P is applied here, same, same load. So, in this case, when we are pulling this plate here, then this rivet and this plate are crossing against each other okay so it may be that rivet will tear the plate like this crush the plate or rivet rivet also might get crushed okay so it will become like this so in this case suppose sigma c is the crushing stress allowable crushing stress or maximum crushing stress d is diameter of the rivet t is the thickness of plate pb is safe, safe crushing load so in this case safe crushing load pb is equal to per pitch we are calculating sigma c stress maximum level is crushing stress into projected area we will project this area in, into a vertical surface so this will become area of the rectangle whose width and length will be diameter of the this hole into thickness will be thickness of the plate so if there are n rivets per pitch length then it will become pb is equal to sigma c into d into t into n n is the number of rivets per pitch length ok so these are the cases of the failure of the riveted joints now what will be the length or uh, strength of the riveted joint ok so we have already calculated for tearing for tearing we have calculated pt is equal to sigma t into p minus d into t ok this is for tearing this is for crushing and for shear <coughs> it is equal to n into tau and to 1 or 2 pi by 4 d square ok it depends on how many it is double stra strap or single strap depending on double shear or single shear we can use 1 or 2 here this is slash not 1 by 2 this is 1 slash 2 ok so these 3 are the loads which will be taken by this rivet joint ok so we will calculate these three and we will find the minimum value because at which strength uh, as which loads load this joint will fail that will become the if, uh, strength of that joint suppose in crushing crushing it is taking 40 kN load in this it is taking 30 and in shearing it is taking 20 kN load ok so in this case a strength of the plate will become 20 kN because it will already fail under shear so you cannot go up to 30 because it plate will get destroyed at 20 itself okay so we have to choose minimum of this three now what is the efficiency efficiency of the joint is equal to 
strength of the joint divided by strength of original plates because now joint has become weaker because we have drilled hole so strength of the joint divided by strength of the original plate which we are uh, used for riveting okay so it will become what will the strength joint strength of joint it will be the minimum of it can fail in the above three cases we have already seen minimum of crushing pc tensile and shear strength minimum of these three okay that will become strength of the plate divided by what is the strength of original plate which is p which will be equal to p or which will be equal to tensile strength into pitch length into thickness this is the area area of the plate per pitch length and this is the tensile strength for plate okay so this is the efficiency of plate so i hope you understood this video if you have any doubt then please ask in the comment section thank you for watching this video